This video is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, all photos have been found in the public domain and are fair use and fair dealing. Hello, welcome back. I am going to discuss today Megan at Wimbledon 2019. She showed up to watch Serena. Now, this has really hit the fan in the tabloids today and they are going in on her. It seems that the British press are going after her with two kind of areas at the moment. The first one is the fact that she asked people to stop photographing her. She was in this area of Wimbledon. Wimbledon was packed. It was court number one, not centre court, so she wasn't in the royal box, but it was court number one. Now, if you have a look at the picture, you can see that she is surrounded by empty seats. There must be a good 40 seats there that are empty around her. So who knows? Was she offered those seats? Did she request those seats? If she did request those seats, that's damn out of order because there are people outside wanting to go and watch Serena Williams play. And those seats could have been taken. Now, if she would have said, no, I don't want anybody around me, that's despicable. This is Wimbledon, for goodness sake. There's far more important people than you here. And the tabloids are also reporting that she requested this man who was actually seated in the seat below her. There's a little section below her. He stood up and she has reportedly got her security or the royal protection officer to go and ask him to stop taking pictures of her. But it turns out he wasn't taking pictures of her. He was taking a selfie. A selfie. Come on. I mean, is she so up herself that she thinks that everything revolves around her? The tabloids are going in on her at the moment. They really, really are. The gloves are off. Story after story are coming out. Even Tatum O'Neill has been on Good Morning Britain this morning, and basically she's called a tacky. She's called a tacky for doing exactly, as I've said, calling out people, thinking that she has, has a right to tell people to stop photographing her, even if they weren't photographing her. The audacity of this woman is shocking. And then the second story to now hit the tabloids is the fact that she wore jeans at Wimbledon. I mean, Wimbledon is iconic. People dress up. There are certain rules that you have to abide by. There isn't any dress codes per se, but they've said that you have to dress up, you know, be respectful. If she had gone into, if Serena was playing on um, the centre court, she would have been refused entry to the royal box because she was wearing jeans. And they said that it was fortunate that Serena was playing at court number one because they didn't have to refuse her to go into the royal box. Who wears jeans at Wimbledon? Come on. I mean, she is supposedly representing our royal family. Yes, it was in private. It wasn't a public appearance, but she's still part of the British royal family. And everything she does, she is well aware that she is scrutinised and will be dragged over the coals. I mean, the British press are renowned for being sharks. Come on, lady, you've got to step up your game. You can't wear jeans to Wimbledon. And rightfully so, she's getting slated because she's supposed to be representing the royal family. Irrelevant of whether it was a private or a public function. You know, come on, lady, pull your socks up. So what do you think of her behaviour at Wimbledon with the old uh, getting a security guard or the uh, palace protection officer to um, get people to stop taking pictures of her? She's too damn important. Um, and also flouting the uh, protocol and rules at uh, Wimbledon's dress code. What do you think? Leave me a message and thank you very much for listening. As ever, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you would like to see more, then please hit the subscribe button and come again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.